$13 billion spending plan that will keep South Carolina running for the next year is now in effect. Governor Henry McMaster signed the new state budget today, but only after splashing some proposals lawmakers sent him. Our State House reporter Mary Green explains what didn't make the cut and why the governor believes it's part of a larger transparency issue with how South Carolina spends millions of taxpayer dollars. The new budget includes more than $400 million in earmarks, so-called pet projects that individual lawmakers ask to fund, typically back in their home districts. But not every earmark survived the governor's veto pen. Governor McMaster vetoed a total of 21 items from this year's budget, nine of them earmarks from members of both parties, totaling $2.3 million. His reasoning ranged from projects he believes should be funded another way, or ones that he says they have no way of knowing how exactly that taxpayer money will be used. In recent years, both the dollar and numerical amounts of budgetary vetoes the governor has issued have significantly dropped after he fought to bring more transparency to what had long been a secretive process of funding these projects. But McMaster believes it's still not transparent enough. He renewed his call Wednesday for the legislature to change the earmark request process through which hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars are divvied up with no public hearings or input to a new grant based system. For some of them, we have no idea of what it is that, that they're going to do, and we have no idea after they get the money if they ever did it. And this has got to change. This is just not the way to spend the people's money. The legislature could vote to override those vetoes, but that would require lawmakers coming back into session here in Columbia in the next few months, which leaders in the General Assembly have said they do not want to do, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Also among the governor's vetoes was the creation of a new health care market reform study committee. Among other directives, it would have taken a look at expanding Medicaid in South Carolina, something that McMaster has long opposed.